let me explain a little bit the problem we are going to have here. So keep in mind that uh, when you send data to the server, it's going to take some time, uh, maybe two seconds, maybe four seconds, or sometimes if the network is really bad, maybe 10 seconds. Now within that time, the user is allowed to click other things here because as you can see, we are sending this data asynchronously, which means we allow the user to continue doing other things. So a user can click this like button and then while the data is on its way, click another like button and then click this one. So now if when the data is coming back, we don't know which of these, which of that, um, which of those like buttons should actually receive that particular data. That's going to be a big problem. Because if, for example, I would have said we add a variable at the top here where once we click uh, a like button, we set the e dot target. This is e dot target, which means that's the particular like button we have. And then we put that variable here and tell it that uh, this is the like button. We this is this target right here is what we need to do, what we need to give the data to. The problem is when the user clicks another like button, then that variable view will, will be overwritten and then we'll end up giving the wrong like button the wrong number. So instead of having to put a global variable here, what we can do is just keep passing on the uh, this part right here. So let's attempt to do that. So let me copy the target here. I'll say this E. So when I call this Ajax send, I should send also the E right there, the event. So I'm going to send that there as well. And so once I send it, even in the response, I should send it as well, E. So this E represents the item. So I think I'm just going to say E, at this point, I'm going to say E dot target. So that instead of having the target there, we have just the object itself. So E dot target is the object. This is the event, but I just want to get the item. So in this case, this is the A tag. So I'm getting the target here. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because sometimes I may use the get element by ID to capture the target, but it's much harder to capture the event if the function is expecting an event. So in this case, the function will be expecting an actual object, which is easy to get using get element by ID or some, something similar. So here we will send in the actual element. So into Ajax set. So here, Instead of E, I will say um, element, something like that. So that's the same thing I will do here, element. Okay. So we are sending the same element so that we don't lose track of it. We know exactly where the data should go once we do that. So element right there, copy and put element right there, paste. So when we call this, it comes here with the element. So at this point, what we can do is we can just say element. Like that dot in a HTML. Is equal to. The result now the result is an object. So let's see that in action. Click. And you see that's the result right there. But this is an object and we just want that zero in there. So we just have to convert this into an actual, uh, an object again. So that's easy to do. So let me copy this. And let's put an if statement here for just in case we receive an empty string. So I'm going to say if, um, Actually, let me just say result is not equal to empty. So if the result is not empty, then we are good to go. Okay. So once we do that, then we are going to convert it to an object. And I'm going to say variable obj is equal to 
json like that capital letters dot parse like that and then let's put what we are parsing there and that's the result like so so object parse and then i'll copy that so element dot inner is equal to object dot what did we save it as so we'll come back here and check that's likes okay so object dot likes like that okay so refresh and let's click again so now we just get a one and then we get a zero and a one and a zero so it's working but we want to see that likes and then brackets and also we don't want to see a, uh, a number there if the number is zero right so we will use the same formula that we used at the top here so and also result is going to be handling many results so we need to put an if statement here to check which uh, particular uh, uh, section to go to so i'm going to say if now i want to know if the result dot result action actually exists because maybe sometimes it's, it's not there so to do that in javascript is type of if type of uh, wait object that's obj dot action is not equal to inverted commas undefined so if it's not undefined then it's defined so then we can do this so if type of is not undefined and then actually maybe i can uh, yeah i can leave that there so let me move this a little bit upward and then question again if so i can just copy okay up to there so many if statements here so here if the action is equal to like post then we are liking our post here okay so this is what we do once like post bam but like i said we just don't want to see a number there so let's go up here and copy what we did previously and this is this part right there uh, oh, okay there we go so we set this to empty string okay so let me just copy that we can convert this php into javascript quite easily so inside here this is the lowercase yan so i will move there and paste so this will be ver likes is equal to empty and then here i'm going to move that and say ver okay so we've already declared it so we'll say likes is equal to and this is the evaluation here so now this likes instead is this one so i'm going to copy this and put it there paste and replace that as well and paste awesomeness so now uh there's likes here uh, okay so if likes is greater than zero so here we might want to parse this because this this was um, a string so i might want to say parse int like this to make sure that uh because we are doing a mathematical operation here right we are looking at greater than so i want it to be an integer so i'm going to say object likes is greater than zero then we set it to whatever that number is if not we just set it to an empty string but remember one thing is that um, we have likes at the beginning there is actually like it's not likes let me do this it's like so that should always be there so i'll just put it here like like so and then here if there's nothing we'll just leave the like 
as it is like so great i can't move this i think we're making good progress okay so let me click here now and let's see what happens Ooh, we refreshed which means our javascript isn't working so let me refresh uh, go to the console and see i expect some errors and very nice i think i know what this is even though i it's saying syntax error so i think i i have an idea of what's going on and that is uh in javascript we don't connect using dots we use the plus sign so let me put plus there and here also plus so yeah forgot to change those refresh mm -hmm. so as you can see the backup is working because even when the uh, when the JavaScript wasn't working, it was liking, though it was refreshing the page. So let me click here. Now we see a one, now we see a zero. So it seems it's not conforming to our like. Oh, that's because I, am, I still have this here. So I'm supposed to set it to that instead. So copy and put it there. My bad. So let's save that, come back here. Refresh, fingers crossed, click, and you see like, 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 like. Uh, isn't that awesome? So let's try and trick it. Let's see, like, like, oh, I can't do it fast enough, I guess. Okay, so it ex it knows exactly where to, to put the like. Okay, this is very good. So in the next video, we'll look at how to update this part as well.